This is section 67 of Mark Twain's Speeches by Mark Twain. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Cats and Candy by Mark Twain. Read by John Greenman. The following address was delivered at a social meeting of literary men in New York in 1874. When I was fourteen, I was living with my parents, who were very poor, and correspondingly honest. We had a youth living with us by the name of Jim Wolfe. He was an excellent fellow, seventeen years old and very diffident. He and I slept together, virtuously, and one bitter winter's night a cousin Mary, she's married now and gone, gave what they call a candy-pulling in those days in the West, and they took the saucers of hot candy outside of the house into the snow, under a sort of old bower that came from the eaves. It was a sort of an L, then, all covered with vines, to cool this hot candy in the snow, and they were all sitting there. In the meantime, we were gone to bed. We were not invited to attend this party. We were too young." the young ladies and gentlemen were assembled there and jim and i were in bed there was about four inches of snow on the roof of this l and our windows looked out on it and it was frozen hard a couple of tomcats it is possible one might have been of the opposite sex were assembled on the chimney in the middle of this l and they were growling at a fearful rate and switching their tails about and going on and we couldn't sleep at all. Finally Jim said, For two cents I'd go out and snake them cats off that chimney. So I said, Of course you would. He said, Well, I would. I have a mighty good notion to do it. Says I, Of course you have. Certainly you have. You have a great notion to do it. I hoped he might try it. But I was afraid he wouldn't. Finally, I did get his ambition up, and he raised the window and climbed out on the icy roof with nothing on but his socks and a very short shirt. He went climbing along on all fours on the roof toward the chimney where the cats were. In the meantime these young ladies and gentlemen were enjoying themselves down under the eaves, and when Jim got almost to that chimney he made a pass at the cats, and his heels flew up and he shot down and crashed through those vines, and lit in the midst of the ladies and gentlemen, and sat down in those hot saucers of candy. There was a stampede, of course, and he came upstairs dropping pieces of chinaware and candy all the way up, and when he got up there, now anybody in the world would have gone into profanity or something calculated to relieve the mind, but he didn't. He scraped the candy off his legs, nursed his blisters a little, and said, I could have catched them cats if I had had on a good ready. End of Cats and Candy by Mark Twain Read by John Greenman